Addis Ababa, capital of Ethiopia, home to millions, and recently, a place of tragedy. A few weeks ago, a massive landfill within the city limits took the lives of more than 60 people. The buildup of man-made waste caused a landslide, landslide in trapping a group of homeless citizens, taking their lives and injuring dozens more. In situations like these, we as a human race must ask ourselves, why must we let occurrences like this take place? There's no reason for landfills to reach sizes unimaginable when we have extremely simple ways of preventing it. The best way, for example, recycling. The easiest way to conserve landfill space with the added perks of saving energy and minimizing pollution. With all the benefits of recycling, our world can continue to flourish and avoid the inevitable destruction it is headed towards. Landslides occurring in landfills are a growing trend. Although many do not claim lives, it's only a matter of time before another one occurs and causes more fatalities. Instead of recycling, people are just throwing away all their used goods. Now, not all human goods can be recycled. I know this. However, if we look at this graph, you'll see that the, average comp or the, the composition of an average dump is 90% recyclable materials. This 10% is non-recyclable materials. So you have paper, it can be recycled. Yard waste will decompose if you put it in like a compost or something. Metal, glass, food waste, plastic, all things that can be recycled. According to SouthCoastEnergyChallenge.org, if landfills continue to pile up, they're going to become extremely toxic to us by polluting the air we breathe and the groundwater we drink. Do you really want to expose your body to that? It's not just landfills either. Deforestation, animal extinction, resource depletion, and deteriorate air quality are all problems we face today. Trees are being destroyed at rates faster than they can reproduce and grow. Now, just a refresher, trees, a major produce of oxygen. You know, the thing we learned about in first grade that we need to live. It just seems kind of suicidal that we would destroy the very thing that helps us to live. Plus, we're destroying the habitat of animals, causing them to go extinct. Then we have natural resources like water. Millions of tons of recyclable materials turn up in rivers, lakes, oceans each year, polluting them and taking the lives of aquatic animals. All around us, our world is being threatened and the inhabitants that live on it. It doesn't have to be this way though. We can preserve our planet and not only keep it alive, but get it to thrive again. Forests could start growing, rivers could be clean, wildlife could repopulate and return our beautiful planet back to the way it was. Recycling is a great place to start. It's going to require fewer resources since we'll just be using the same ones over and over again. It's going to reduce pollution, declining the size of the landfills instead of letting, allowing them to grow and take lives. Lessismore.org states that by recycling a ton of plastic, we can save 30 cubic yards of landfill space. Considering more than 110 million tons are deposited in the landfills each year, that means we could save several billion, yes, billion cubic yards of landfill space. That opens up some pretty serious real estate opportunities, if you ask me. How great would it be if we could eliminate some landfills entirely? When it comes to paper, the US EPA states that for every, 300, or for every ton of paper recycled, we, we could save 17 trees. Each year, the world produces more than 300 million tons of paper. I'm not very good at math, but even I know that's a whole lot of green. Just in those few things, we can do so much for our planet. Our world is a beautiful place. It's home to thousands of different organisms, whether it's planets, or, sorry, plants, animals, or humans. It's our duty to take care of the gift, this gift we were given. We should be helping it to flourish and not dismantling it inside and out. Landfills could disappear. Animals could begin to repopulate, taking them off endangered lists and allowing them to roam this great landscape. The quality of life itself can improve simply by recycling. It could do so much for this planet. And it's so easy to do. Now, change won't happen overnight, but as days turn into weeks and weeks turn into years, we'll start to see a trend where animals are thriving and the quality of air we breathe and the water we drink has greatly improved. It all starts with you though. It's like Dr. Seuss says, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.